So, you just got a Toro two-stage snowblower. Excellent choice. If the words, some assembly required, make you nervous, don't worry, we're here to help. Now, before you get started, be sure to read the operator's manual for complete assembly instructions. For some of the steps, a picture really is worth a thousand words. So here are some tips. First, let's install the control rod that connects the quick stick to the discharge chute. Rotate the quick stick so it's straight up and centered. Then hold the blue trigger cap down and pull the lever all the way to the rear. Take the chute control rod and line up its flattened back end with the front end of the short rod on the quick stick assembly. These should nest together. Now insert the front end of the control rod into the gear cover opening at the back of the chute. Make sure the rod slides all the way into the chute gear. Align the holes on the nested rods and insert two carriage bolts through the short rod. Then insert the cable clip to support the deflector cable onto the front bolt. And secure both bolts with lock nuts. To check operation, hold the blue trigger cap down and rotate the quick stick. Moving the stick to the left or right should move the chute in the same direction. Move the stick forward to lower the chute deflector and pull it back to raise the deflector. The chute and deflector should lock in place when you release the trigger. Next, let's look at how you install the linkage for the traction control. First, connect the lower end of the speed control rod to the lower link arm. Insert the rod into the link arm so the bent end faces rearward, then install the washer and pin. Next, shift the speed selector lever to the R2 position and rotate the lower link arm to its full upward position. Then lift up on the rod and insert the trunnion into the hole in the speed selector. If the trunnion doesn't fit in the hole, you can adjust it on the speed control rod until it does. Once everything is in place, secure the assembly with the washer and cotter pin. Okay, now let's look at how to adjust the tension cables. This should be done after the first two hours of operation, then once each year. The left-hand cable controls your machine's traction. If the tension on this cable isn't set correctly, the machine may not drive in the forward or reverse speeds and could even keep moving after you release the traction lever. Here's how to adjust it. Loosen the jam nut, then engage the traction lever and hold it in place. Then loosen or tighten the turnbuckle to adjust the spring length to two inches or five centimeters. And tighten the jam nut. Okay, let's move on to the right hand cable. This controls the auger and impeller, and the adjustment procedure is pretty much the same. Once again, loosen the jam nut. Engage the right hand lever and hold it in place. Now loosen or tighten the corresponding turnbuckle to adjust the spring length to two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters, and retighten the jam nut. If you make these adjustments and still experience any issues, see your authorized Toro service dealer. Your machine comes with engine oil in the crankcase, but be sure to check the oil level before starting up and add oil if necessary. Okay, now you're ready to test your new snowblower. Be sure to add Toro Premium Fuel Treatment to your fuel before you fuel up and only use the bare minimum of fuel for your test run. This is important because fuel can deteriorate over time and cause complications. Make sure your tank is dry when you store it so your snowblower will be ready to start right up when you need it most.